Hello, everybody. Uh, sorry that we weren't here last week. Any of our followers, you got to see a rerun already. Uh, life happens, you know. Hey, this is Craig. This is Steve. And welcome to our, what, sixth episode? Or yeah. Sixth episode yeah. of uh, What Do You Think? I almost said Who's Lying? <laughs> <laughs> what Do You Think? And things Great have been going show. pretty well. You know, so far, I really enjoy what, what we're do, uh, accomplishing on the show and the feedback that we've been getting from the community. So please, anytime you see us, any of us, please come back. Tell us what you think. You know, we really do want to hear about it. That's what this show is oh, about. Yeah. It's about, you know, the real thing that, it's, that we call life, you know, what, what we deal with. Complete collaboration life. television. That's what we deal with here. Right? Yeah, Complete totally. Collaboration. So um, we have some guests here uh, from across the ocean, huh? Yeah, uh, I'd say. Norway, Denmark, Africa, yeah, Africa. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but we're going to show, before we introduce them, we're going to show a video of... Um, a little project they got going on. Yeah. And I'd like, you know, it's a really wonderful thing, and it's really in line with everything that I do and Craig does. We, totally. we, we use art to improve our lives, to actually make a life in my, and then to build a life in my case. Yeah. Uh, and so I see this in, in every area I work in. Uh, art permeates everywhere, and art is a key to open many doors to life, and, and, and I've not stopped. I, I continue to feel better every day, and it's through the use of poetry, music, dance, uh, drawing, and just being in the, with a, being in the part of a community, yeah. community oh, yeah. of artists of all different kinds. Uh, all right, so let's open a window here. Art actually can be a powerful tool to identify what we really want. And it's cheap, it doesn't need written language, it can be done in any village, anywhere. So using art, how can it be a useful tool for everybody to direct and create awareness in their own lives? People who are at peace with their life and where they're going, they find more joy, but also the doors open for them. My name is Eirik Jarl Thomsen, from Norway originally, but lived 15 years in Africa. Affirmative art could not have happened without my development background. But the beautiful thing is that they had to merge, because I wouldn't have understood the power of it. Combining the development perspective, or human perspective, with art is what it's all about, to direct and create awareness in our own lives. My name is Claudia Proska. I'm from Romania. I'm really excited to use art to help people understand what they also want to do in their lives. You're also going to have action steps. What are concrete steps you can take to really achieve your dream? And that's why we say that affirmative art empowers your dream. And it isn't just a pretty picture, it is a tool to help you live the way you yourself want to live. Having all the workshops have all ages, which is really crucial because you want to get people again talking to each other. I listen to people describe what they've drawn it's always amazing that as they're describing what they've drawn, they see something new in what they've colored in that they didn't even realize they'd done. Talking with Eric, he made me realize actually I'm reaching that dream, but I forgot about love. We're trying to get as many perspectives as possible, not just across the different cities in the U.S., but going to different types of neighborhoods, places where people do gather. We're going to libraries, YMCA's, art festivals, farmer's markets. And we're getting a lot of connections, people finding out about it and us starting the conversation and inviting us to come over. It's really about starting these conversations and seeing where they lead. Get these materials and a truck that will enable us to travel across America with a message that everybody can empower their dreams. We estimate around $2,000 for materials, $10,000 for a truck. We're going to be painting it. The truck itself will be an affirmative art piece showcasing what the workshops are, what the process is. Creating that safe space where people are comfortable revealing themselves and sharing what's in their heart is so important. You have to create that community to help the individual dreams. We're back. We have a little community of our own. This is Marcus right here. This is Eirik. And we're here to tell you about affirmative art. And the first question I asked was why. So mm -hmm. Marcus is going to answer the why, the affirmative art. Yes, so, so affirmative art 
um, the purpose of affirmative art is to empower people's dreams. So empower what uh, people truly want in their life mm. and uh, visualize that. So um, is there a specific way that that is done? You know, is there, there's, there's steps that people can follow? Like if for, the, for the viewers at home, you know, um, could, could you guys maybe do a quick rundown of how you would start them off on, on their, you know, drawing their dream, visualizing their dream? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the big thing is getting together mm -hmm. and, and having a discussion about what is it we truly want in our lives. So it's, <laughs> it's opening up and saying, you know, am I doing really what I want to do? What is it? And then sketching that, what does it actually look like? I mean, what do your dream look like? So bring some colors and shapes, and then that process, again, gives a new discussion when we then share it in a group. What does that mean? What is that mountain or that sun or that figure or that family or whatever? What does that mean? Yeah, and that yeah, discussion yeah. again. So it's, it's a process of, of reflection, illustrating that, and then discussion about what it actually means. And then, of course, there's follow-up, which is aligning yourself and doing some action steps to actually achieve your dream. Mm. No point just drawing it. You need to get there. There was that quote, like, it's not enough to dream. Uh, you got to put your dreams into action kind of thing there, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. the quote. Yeah. Um, before, I know it, it's in line with what I do. You know, I know that I'm affiliated with many different arts. I don't particularly draw. I have drawn many times. I like it. Uh, though poetry and dance and, and, and singing and uh, playing an instrument... <clears throat> have brought things to surface in me and I know I work with the uh, visual arts with uh, veterans and such and it can unlock things in people and it's, oh. art, art is very amazing. I know what it's done from and what it's doing for me currently, which this is one of them, uh, oh, right. is, yeah, is, totally. is making my life, it's giving me a life. And could you tell us a little bit about where you've been? Yeah, the history is sort of different because basically I was uh, 15 years in Africa and other countries, but mainly Africa, living in Africa, based in uh, East Africa, Kenya. And I've been doing relief. That means, you know, providing water, providing food, building roads or bridges or whatever. I mean, all sort of development projects. But the point is, people were not really consulted what they wanted. So mm. basically, most of it fell. And the realization is, unless people themselves define what they want, their dreams, their communities, what they want, it's not gonna work. And then I realized art can be a cheap and sort of universal language to uh, express yes. from the heart what we truly want. And I think that when I saw that in action, then I see people empowering their dreams and getting a direction which they didn't have when they were told by NGOs and outside of the government what mm. to do. Mm. And if I may, Eric or Eric is a fellow with MIT and this is not just a, you know, some voodoo or, yeah, or yeah. you know, wives tales. This stuff actually works and Harvard, MIT, Dalai Lama and all the many different areas I know are coming to this conclusion that we can actually grow happy people and if we're not happy we can learn to be happy. Mm. And yeah. Uh, and so in Africa. I just wanted to say that that I think the recognition at MIT meaning that people actually see it there as serious. You know, they are all mm. scientists, they're all top-notch people. But unless they're happy, what's the point? Mm. So what <laughs> you realize there is yeah, that, yeah. you know, that they actually are looking for things to balance all that science with something from the heart. Mm. And art and affirmative art is one of the tools to actually- the heart. Yeah, I like bring that. it out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I think it's really interesting, you know, um, giving people the opportunity to see that, um, they can potentially change the trajectory of where they are in life. Or I remember you were saying earlier, you know, you mentioned the fact that a lot of people do it and they look back and they say, wait, do I want this? Do I actually want this in my life? Is this the one yeah. life I really want? Wait, yeah. let me uh, change this, you know, and you spoke about different drafts. And I think that's something that's really interesting, you know. Um, and then one thing that would happen with art is you can look at the progression. You can do something at one time and, and then do something at a later date, and we can see the difference. I know with my poetry, I yeah. know with my poetry, I can read the poetry that I wrote in the first years of me writing poetry approximately four years ago, and the progression that goes through. I can, I can just identify the different phases in my life that were happening, and, art, and visual art does the same thing. Mm. 
Hey, Mar I want to ask Marcus, get him included over here. Yeah, Have sure. you included, uh, uh, incorporated art into your life um, to any particular degree? Um, yes, so <clears throat> art, um, I have used affirmative art um, and tested nice. this concept or this, this actually a collaborative art experience that we are promoting. Mm. Um, so what I actually found was my values through that art and through the visualization. Mm. Um, and when I saw my values on the, the paper, I actually knew then uh, what I wanted to have more of in life. And one of those things was nature. So then I thought, maybe I need more uh, walks in nature because uh. that's important to me. Yeah, sure. So it sort of solidified some things for you that, that weren't so obvious necessarily. Yeah. That's great. Exactly. <clears throat> did you want to tell us more about Africa there, Eric, or did you want to continue on this? No, I, I, I mean, I just wanted to mention that, you know, from Africa, 15 years, affirmative art now in America, and now crossing America, mm. which I think is uh, interesting things because oh, yeah. most people think Africa just associate that with hunger and, you know, yeah, war. Sure, sure. And here we're coming with a concept that works in Africa and we're yeah. bringing it to the U.S. for us in the U.S. to learn from something that works in a different part of the world. Oh, absolutely. So that's very interesting. We haven't discussed that at all. You're about to embark on a rather uh, interesting mission here oh, yeah. or, or adventure, a journey across the country, huh? And, uh, which is pretty exciting. They're about to kick off May 7th, is it? 6th. May 6th, yeah. I apologize. We, we will uh, kick off at MIT with painting the actual van that we are going to use crossing the country, reaching 28 cities on the way drawing, painting, doing affirmative art sessions throughout wow. different communities, Native Americans, we go to schools, we go to community clubs, we go to um, type of uh, YMCA type of institutions, so farmers markets, all sorts of places that people gather together, people yeah. gather together. Oh cool, oh nice. Mm. Oh so it's not just uh, like schools? No. no. Oh very cool. Because we believe this is a tool for everybody. Oh absolutely. We, so, oh, yeah. totally. so we try to bring in intergenerational, even old uh, people, you know, old people have dreams, you know? I mean people they may be retired but they want to do something with their lives in the retired and some people just sit back watching television what sort of a life is that i know yeah right yeah well it reminds me of one of the things is i would like to implement some art programs <clears throat> and also some tai chi and some different self massage techniques that i've learned to deal with different stressors in life and I presented with an opportunity in my life and someone asked me, well, how would I then share these with the clients or, or the people seeking help? And I said, well, I'm not really sure. I think the best thing for me to do is share it with staff first. Mm. <laughs> share it with the staff, the people that are going to be sharing it with them. Mm. Let them get involved in some of this and mm. get, let them get the oh. benefits. Then how, are they, how else are they going to then generate it down to the people they're supposed to be helping? So that made me think of that. And, and so I, it's for everybody. And, and doesn't have to start at the people that are su necessarily suffering. Those who are not suffering can also get involved in this. Of you know, pretend, you know, uh, I say not suffering. Please don't take. Uh, I defer. Though. <laughs> I wanted to ask Marcus a question. Uh, so, the tour and where can people find information about the tour? Because you guys, it said in the video, you, you're you're trying to raise some funds yes. to make this thing. That's great. You know, go in here, get this dream machine, making dreams happen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, how, uh, you know, how can people help you guys, help this? How is it funded, first of yeah. all? How is it being funded and what can anybody do if they want to help? Yeah, so we are available on Facebook, Affirmative Art on Facebook, and people can follow the tour on Instagram, cool. Affirmative Art, no, sorry, Affirmative Tour. Um, and so nice. we will also launch a new website uh, cool. where you can find more information about the tour. But right now the information is on Facebook, Affirmative Art Facebook. Facebook, what do you think? Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah so, okay. Um, I've brought this up before and I think the, Steve mentioned it earlier. Um, it seems like the major element here is an awareness, bringing in an awareness to something, right? Obviously in a particular way. If I may, yeah. the, what I'm talking about, the awareness is if one's doing the art, so no one may, like, <clears throat> 
I was stressed about doctors and different things and I started writing poetry and the meaning and, and the answers came through my poetry. Mm. So the awareness mm. came through the, the oh, act of creating art. Okay. Yeah. So there was something I was important for me to be aware of Absolutely. and I wasn't sure what it was. By, by t writing and reciting poetry, the awareness surfaced. You know, I've said this before on a previous episode that like we're all creating our reality. We're all artists whether we are aware of it or not. And I just, I really, uh, you know, I, I wanted to do, because what I gathered from looking at the website and the, the list there of kind of like, you know, the one, two, three of how to do this, how to implement this in my life, I wanted to do one. And I, I thought, okay, this is kind of like a dream map, essentially. Yeah. Where do I go from here? And it was funny because I, I, I really, I only did something simple and I don't want to grab it because it's, it's across the room. I'll, maybe I'll grab it later when we're closing, but uh, having such an issue of getting that stuff out there, you know, being so attached to uh, where am I going to go? So I think the idea of the drafts mm. is very interesting and can be super helpful as far as like, oh wait, do I want this? You know, going back to that whole thing of like a reflective we were talking Activity. about this earlier, and you did one of these, right? You, you started to do one of yeah, those yeah, dreamscapes, yeah. as you call it. You, yeah. ha you have that with you, right? Yeah, you yeah. Grab that. Let's, let's take a quick peek at it, and let's see what yeah. Eric has to say about yeah, it. Yeah, and I, I, I also just want to say that in, when, when we express things uh, artistically, we sort of don't use our normal language. You know, we can have visions of our life, you know, we can... But it's some powerful tool of being able to to see it with colors, with shapes, there's more to analyze, and therefore more and more of a discussion. Well, I'll do that, Craig. Craig. So I think Craig is going to show us. Yeah, here it comes. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Go further, further. Further up, up, up yeah. Further up, further up, further up. There yeah, we there go. We go. Pick it out. You a see bit. the heart yeah, there? Out, out, out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, so tell us about that. Eric. Keep that up there, Craig. That, 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 what do you see from that? Eric? Well, I, mean, I see. I see. The heart, I see the brain being big, the heart and the brain being connected, but I don't see a lot of body on it. So I, I see, True. yeah, I, I, I see sort of a, a narrowness there as well. So, I, and I, I don't see the direction of it. So it's like, it's, it's confined in a way and, and just those two elements. The, so there's a lot of brain and heart, but it doesn't flow out so where's the outreach? Where does it go? What direction is it having and why? That's the question. I guess yeah. that's the question, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, what I gathered from it was, um, was uh, you know, speaking my mind through my heart. You know, kind of, as Steve always tells me, you know, mean what you say, say what you mean, don't be mean when you say it, you know. And I guess that's kind of like, I've realized that implementing that way of thinking and way of engaging with people and environments has... Uh, at the very least, cut all the um, BS, as you would say, down. So it's like, you know, there's no... Me and Steve are trying to keep the show as transparent and as open-ended as possible, you know? And that, I guess, could be a symbol of it, huh? I love this, because we talk about many things all the time, and, and I talk about hormones a lot. We're driven by hormones. Hormones have this really powerful effect on our minds. And here is, in, in the center here, in the center of the brain, is a microphone, and it's attached to the heart. So it's like the heart is yelling in the middle of the head. <laughs> and that's what can happen oh. when our hormones go, get, get, get uh, true. unbalanced. Yeah. So it does. It really Our, our, our emotions scream, can, can scream inside our brains, and we don't hear anything about other than what we feel. Wow. And so that's where Major. yoga and mind-body connection stuff comes in, so that we learn to, you know, adapt to and uh, you know, strike balance in our lives. Because it's not about just emotion; it's not about just an analysis. Uh, analysis. It's it's both. You know, we have to live in this life, and we want to find a balance. And coming from the heart tends to be a, a, a good place to come to check in with the body. The body tends to give us the real information. Check in with the stomach, check in with the heart, check in with the breathing. Mm. And it tends to lend to a calm mind and a balanced decision and you know, rational, uh, fun life. Mm. Mm. True, true, true. There has to be some fun out there. Yeah. A lot of fun out there. I'll tell you what, I, I, I have a lot of fun these days. Um, so... Can you, do you guys want to talk a little bit about um, the event that's happening? You guys going to paint? Yeah. Paint yeah. Paint the great. dream machine, yeah. right? Yeah. So May the 6th, we will be at uh, MIT. 
doing the launch event for cool. this tour. And what time can people come out and catch you down at MIT to paint this thing? People can come from 3 p.m. What is that? Cool. Yeah. 3 to 7? 3 to 7. Is that what it was, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Yeah. We're going to have some fun down there. <laughs> paint, there please hopefully, paint it's okay. the if, if we film, we'll yeah. get the camera. So, be great. Nice. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Meet up with you guys again before you... So, how many people are going across country in the van? We have three. Three, three of you. Cool. So, it's Marcus, myself, and Claudia. I was an architect from MIT as oh, well. Oh, nice. So, we got a bit of gender balance there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. What will you do? Is, is the van going to be set up as something where people will come in and out of the van, or are you guys going to set up outside? Set up, set up outside. outside. Yeah. yeah. So, and basically, basically for you and these, most organizations we visit, they have uh, like in their institutions, so they have a space inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so sure you're going to bring some things with you, some materials, supplies. Yeah, yeah, supplies, yeah. Yeah. Supplies, so, yeah. yeah, we've been blessed with some uh, su support for supplies already. Oh, nice. Excellent. Oh, cool. Mm. Yeah. Could you use more like what, markers, paint? Or yeah, it? mainly markers and, and paper, but uh, markers some, paper. some of okay. for the van, obviously, we need some paint, paint. for that. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Any of you art supply stores around here who would hey, like hey. To, to volunteer to donate, I'm sure a couple of them were. What are them? Blick, Blick, uh, Blick, uh, um, Artists and craftsmen. Actually, yeah. artists and craftsmen have already oh, pledged nice. support. Yeah. Wow, thank you, yeah. Wow, yeah. thanks. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We appreciate yeah. that a lot. <laughs> Actually, that's uh, beautiful. Make it happen. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. Uh, I had a question um, about, you know, the process of it. Is there, do you encourage people to um, draw only, or is it, you know, is it kind of more open ended where, you know, could somebody do all words if they wanted to uh, as a, you know, thanks, kind of Thanks a for mentioning that. I mean, it, it is, words are allowed, drawing different shapes and figures, whatever, it's all allowed. And the key thing is the discussion around it. And, and as you say, it keeps on evolving, so it's yeah. improvement. And the key thing is to be part of a community. So after we do the training, it takes about two hours, the whole process, but that's the actual affirmative art piece. After that, there's a process of aligning yourself and action points. Ah. So what we do is create communities. So these groups that we work with will come back to these groups nice. and, and re-engage with them. But also we will work on the uh, internet and support these groups so they can continue their creation mm. and, and action points and support each other yeah. to empower their dreams. Yeah. Because it's all about empowering dreams. Uh, Empowerment. Yeah. If anybody's checked out my video, that was one of the keys in my yeah, life, is becoming empowered in my own care, empowered in my life, because I am the only one that's with 24-7. So no Very matter true. what is going on in my life, my opinion, in my particular case, matters the most. So I call it 51% controlling interest, for those of you out there who like words. <laughs> also, uh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, I like that. I like words. 51% controlling interest, and I do a cost-benefit analysis at, at every turn. You know, it, I'm going to look at both sides, and that's part of it. I, I, I know I have my wants and I have my needs. Mm. Sometimes they get confused. No, so do oh, a yeah. cost-benefit analysis really behooves me. So, uh, yeah, sure, sure. so if I look at it and I can say, well, what is my benefits and what are my costs? I can then make a decision. As long as my heart's not screaming into my brain with that microphone, <laughs> then no. I'm able to. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> I, I, I'm able to make a decision. If, if, my, if, if I'm stressed or my, uh, my emotions are, are screaming into my head, then blinders come up. I can't hear right, and I'm not rational anymore. Mm. Art helps me bridge that and, and, and have a different perspective. You know? Yeah, we were talking earlier about how art, you, you mentioned it too a little bit, how it's a universal language. And I think it's interesting how uh, it can be a way to... bring us together yeah. because it kind of it sheds a lot of the um, labels and this and that you can of, see exactly you know that. basically that is the essence and the beauty of art you know you do an art piece you do it together and like let's say you want to do a childhood memory now everybody has childhood memories but some person in Africa can have a very similar childhood memory from one in America. Mm. It doesn't really matter the culture. Yeah, they are very sure. similar. You realize that yeah. we're all one, that mm. actually through art you realize how similar we are. Mm. And that's a beautiful thing to realize cool. because then you get respect for other people and you start bri building bridges. Yes. Uh, so I think the key is that we try to encourage as many different diverse people and groups inside the same space because through art we unify, we get unified. Yeah. <sighs>
No exclusions. Yes. All a you know, age, color, race, creed, sex, eight, uh, I said age already, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, religious I get, I'm getting old, I forget. No, no. Um, <laughs> so we got, a, we got about a minute here, and uh, come back in a couple of weeks. We'll be there. Uh, don't be square. I just, do you have anything you want to add before we get some closing statements from these guys? A couple of last words. Oh, I just thank everybody for, for, for watching. Uh, this is, this is, this is hitting to the heart of, of, of what's going on here in my life. Uh, we're collaborating. Craig and I are sitting in my favorite restaurant, Life Alive, up the street here, Mass Avenue, and we run into to Eric. And we have these similar things going on in our lives. I'm using art every day in my life, singing, dancing, telling poetry to improve me. I'm sharing that with veterans. I'm sharing it with people at BU Center for Psych Rehab. Uh, I share Reiki now. And, and then I meet Eric, and yes, I'm good. Right uh, I just wanted to say, check these guys out on Facebook at Affirmative Art. Affirmative Art. All right. Uh, Mark Marcus and Eric, they're going on tour May 6th. Hopefully, you'll be there to paint the truck with Welcome. us. Yeah. We're going to do right. some painting. Let's uh, <laughs> empower those dreams, make some things happen. Yeah. Uh, Marcus, good luck to you. Thank yeah, you, man. Hey, Eric, all right, brother. Eric, Ooh, Eric, Eric. Stole it. <laughs>